Lying above Paisley, the Glen of the Brays in World War II was a perfect location for decoy sites. These were intended to divert the Luftwaffe away from the real factories and real airstrips. Being top secret, very little is known about these sites, and usually not much remains physically on the ground. However, the Glen of the Brays, the control bunker survives, minus its earth mound and the blast wall that protected its entrance. Where the actual pyrotechnics were was across the road by the electricity station. Much of this has been destroyed. It would originally have been pylons with, with fires on top, or some of them had been ground level, and they were organised to look as if it was a factory that had been bombed, and this would attract other bombers to come along. There do appear to be a couple of old bomb craters here. The location of the Q site, that is the nighttime decoy airstrip on the Glen of Braes, is much more difficult to identify. However, there are a few structures that may be linked to it. Running in a linear fashion across the area above the main car park at the Glen of Braes Country Park are these circular concrete posts, on top of which there are brass fittings suggesting that a light would have been screwed into these. These are fairly typical of the design of World War II on real airstrips. They don't have to follow any flat land because there's no intention of a plane really landing here. In fact, they cut across some of the nearby glens. It appears to be the remains of a control bunker. It doesn't show up on the maps prior to World War II and it appears to have masonry sticking through it. So this may have been one for controlling the lights, also may have contained batteries or generators for them. In addition, there are concrete blocks. Quite a few of them are dotted around the area. They may relate in some way to the old decoy airstrip. Certainly the, a few of the mounds may be in, in regard of the old Stanley Moore farm, which was demolished. Some of it could be demolition rubble. Some of these decoy airstrips are known to have attracted damaged aircraft looking for somewhere to land with uh, catastrophic results.